normal motor's parts like bearings, brushes, capacitors, seals, and wipings, servo motors have special components that make them communicate with the controls so the machine knows exactly what the motor is doing and how to perform perfectly. In this area, we test and repair all types of servo motors. Servo motors are different from regular motors because of the feedback devices which connect them in a loop to the machine's control system. Ertin Electric does a large variety of servo motors of all makes and models. This Leroy Sommer brushless AC servo motor has had its stator rewound. All of the parts have been laid out and it is now ready for reassembly. Rudy has just completed rebuilding a DC servo motor and is preparing it for shipping, which is apparently a rush job for the United States Navy. Servo motors are a complex collection of windings, mechanical parts, and electronic devices. But please, unless you are very knowledgeable about servo motors and alignments, don't take these apart as it can cause important information to be lost. Here is what you are likely to find in a typical servo motor. This is an encoder which reads thousands of pounds per single revolution. This is a tack generator motor that has been rewound and is ready to go. This is an electromechanical brake which is common in many servo motors. Here is a resolver stick and this cute little rotor goes inside. We actually rewind them and I think we're the only ones in the country who do that. All of these are part of the servo motor's makeup. It could be one thing or everything that keeps the motor from working properly. Here at Ertin Electric, we test and repair all the servo motor windings and components. So whenever your servo motor goes down, you can count on Ertin Electric to solve the problem. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Megan with Ertin Electric, signing out.